Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at rehearsing your slideshow within PowerPoint. Now PowerPoint provides a feature allowing you to rehearse your timings or to rehearse your slideshow. Perfect for them situations such as induction presentation where you may be allocated a time slot of say 10 minutes within the middle of the day and you want to try and be as accurate as you can within that. Maybe aiming for seven to eight minutes so there's time for questions and any other kind of distractions that arise uh, from your timings. So with my presentation on screen right now, I could go to the slideshow tab on the ribbon and choose rehearse timings. And if I click rehearse timings, it will bring up my slideshow where I can then go through this, go through my, my notes and rehearse it, maybe in a quiet room to myself, I can see in the top left that I'm being timed. I'm being timed per slide, and I'm being timed for the whole show as well. You can see the first time I begin again there as I kind of move to the next slide. If I move through the presentation, saying what I need to say, and when I get to the end, it will tell me that I took 29 seconds. Would I like to keep my slide timings <coughs> to, to use when I actually run the slideshow? And I'm gonna say yes, which is the default option there. When I say yes, it will take me to slide sort of view and show me my timings. So I can see underneath each slide, that I took 14 seconds on the first slide, nine seconds on the second slide, and so on, one second on every one thereafter. And this is good for me to analyse my performance, uh, to know if I, if I did, you know, if I spoke too much on some slides or not enough on others. However, one thing to bear in mind is that these timings are now set. They will be used. And if I was to run the slideshow now and took more than 14 seconds, then my slides would automatically move on. So we're going to look at removing them timings. There's a couple of ways of doing this. The first way is that I could uncheck the use rehearse timings box on the ribbon, deciding that I do not want to use the timings on this slideshow. So that will keep my timings there. I can see they're still visible underneath each slide, but they will not be used if I was to press F5 and run the slideshow. Now another way would be to go to the animations tab. This is PowerPoint 2007's way. Uh, to find the slide transitions. Yeah, so in 2010, you would have a transitions tab. And on the far right, I can see that it's moving automatically after that time. Another way of attacking this is that I could uncheck that box and click apply to all to remove the timings from each slide. You can see they're still there. Um, the time is still available. But once again, this is another way of turning them off. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is looking at rehearsing slide timings for your, for your presentation. Please check out some more other tutorials at computergaga.com.